Oh, again, we're going to have a sweet. We're so looking at the uh, Ecotech diverter valve problem. Well, it's not a problem really, it's just um, one of those things that goes wrong. This is the body out of an old diverter valve. And this is, uh, so we get through quite a lot of these. And there's a, oh, I don't know, there's a bit of a mystery about them really. Well, some people seem to feel there's a bit of a mystery about them. Oh, I don't think they're very straightforward really. However, the diverter valve sits here. And this is the uh, more up-to-date modern version of the diverter valve that's been replaced over the last few years. Um, and basically what happens is the piston rod inside, which is run through some stuffing boxes and seals in here, the seals wear and it starts to leak and water starts to drip out through the piston and then down through the uh, air gap here and drips out onto the chassis of the boiler. Now normally this will be indicated by or from a consumer's point of view, you start to get water dripping out of either one of these two corners here on the boiler. Um, it runs into like a reservoir channel down here and collects and then it starts to drip out through the chassis. Now that's not necessarily the problem. Uh, the leak isn't necessarily the diverter valve, but um, generally speaking, it's usually the first port of call from a service engine, well, certainly from our perspective, if you say you've got a drip coming out the corner of your boiler, this is what we will assume or we will start to look at straight away because we'll be looking for a leaking diver diverter valve now. I've had a lot of people phoning me up, especially customers, complaining that this particular component is um, extremely unreliable. Um, that's not strictly true, to be honest. Um, I had one customer in particular who said that he's had to have a new diverter valve fitted every year to 18 months since he's had the boiler fitted. Now, common sense would say, well, it's probably not every diverter valve that you've had fitted is faulty. So it's unlikely to have four in a row. So the, where the, the area that seems to be overlooked, certainly by plumbers, etc., or people who perhaps are not quite as uh, experienced, um, is that something obviously is causing these valves to leak. And that's really where you've got to start looking. So if you're having regular problems with your diverter valve or you're paying for regular replacements, and don't forget, these are not cheap. They're not exactly the cheapest things. Well, no part on a valent boiler is cheap, to be honest. Um, but if you're having regular problems with your diverter valves from leakage or failure, then really you've got to start looking at the water quality of your heating system. And you've got to really start looking at that and sort of thinking, well, what is causing these seals to fail and why are they breaking down? Because the chances are it's not going to be... Uh, relentless failure of faulty valves or poor quality is going to be something that's causing the problem. Now you'd expect to maybe change one or two of these in the boiler's lifetime but certainly you shouldn't be changing them every couple of years and if you are then I would suggest that you call an engineer that's got a little bit more experience and maybe can think outside the box a bit more because something will be causing this problem. Okay so Ecotech diverter valves whichever one you've got they're all the same apart from what you've got the brass ones, you've got the plastic ones, but the fault will be the same if it keeps or if they're continuously leaking or continually failing. So there you go. I've heard of else. All done. See you next time.